This is an AQA A-level chemistry question, and it's on the topic of energetics. So pause as you go, try and each section, and then you can review your answers at the end. Here's parts A and B. Part C. And part D, taking you to a total of 10 marks. So going back to part A here, we have got an equation including state symbols for the reaction with enthalpy change equal to the standard enthalpy of formation of CF4. So you've got to know what the definition for standard enthalpy of formation is. And there's also lots of information you then need to know about the fundamentals of chemistry to be able to get to the final answer. For example, you need to know that enthalpy of formation is the formation of one mole of a compound from its elements. So we've got the two elements here, C and F. However, we need to know that fluorine is diatomic and we need 2F2 to get to the CF4. We also, from the definition of enthalpy of formation, need to include the state symbols because it does say that it's the enthalpy of formation of one mole of a compound from its elements in their standard states at standard conditions. So I put those in. Carbon is a solid under standard conditions. Fluorine is a gas and CF4 is a gas, but that's been provided in the question. Moving on to part B, why does CF4 have a bond angle of 109.5? So you have got to remember all of the names of the shapes. You've got to remember the bond angles. This question is asking in a slightly different way. It's telling you the bond angle is 109.5, which you are probably, hopefully, equating with tetrahedral, but it's asking you why. Um, the reason is that there are four bonding pairs around the carbon and each of those are going to repel equally. Now that means that they will spread as far apart as possible and to get as far apart as possible they would have a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. Moving on to part C we have got here some enthalpy of formation data and we have an enthalpy of reaction that you are needing to carry out. Now I'm going to do this using the Hess cycle method drawing it out that's my personal choice I find that it's easier to avoid some of the careless errors. So I've got my equation over the top that I've been provided with the enthalpy data for and I've put my elements down at the bottom so that my enthalpy of formation equations are going up and up as we can see here. Now I can start to substitute some of the figures in. <clears throat> now for the C2H6 that's what we're calculating enthalpy of formation so I've given that the value x and my formation of 7F2 will have an enthalpy of formation of zero. We're told that in the table, but of course it's zero because it's being formed from itself. There is no change by definition. On the other side, we've got two CF4s, so that's two times negative 680, and we've got six HFs, so that's six times negative 269. Again, remember, enthalpy of formation is the enthalpy change for one mole being formed. So it's multiplied up as the numbers dictate in the equation. Now at that point, I always identify the two roots. Now I'm gonna use color to make that stand out. Both of my roots will start at the bottom and both will end at the top right. So my root A, you can see, and my root B. And according to Hess's law, which is based on the first law of thermodynamics, they will have an equal value. So we can now substitute the figures in that we have. I take my X and my negative 2879 as my red. My green is my two negative 680s and my six negative 289s. A little bit of rearranging to make X the subject and it, tells, it takes you to a value of X being negative 85. Finally, moving on to part D, we have got here some mean bond enthalpies. <clears throat> um, methane reacting violently with fluorine, we've got an enthalpy change for it. A student suggested that one reason for high reactivity of fluorine is a weak FF bond. Is the student correct? Well, you need to do a little bit of calculation to get to your answer. We know that we are breaking four CH bonds. They're at 412 each. That's 1648 or plus 1648 because breaking bonds is endothermic and therefore positive. We're also breaking four F2s. Now we want to know what that 
is. So we've got our 4x, and I'm calling it 4x because it's four times the mean bond enthalpy. From there, I can then look at the bonds that are formed, and I'm making 4 CF bonds. That's four times negative 484. They're negative because it's exothermic, and therefore, bo or, or sorry, bonds forming are always exothermic. Exothermic is negative. And similarly for the 4 HF bonds that we've made. Now, when you <clears throat> take all of those figures and we rearrange, you can see that 4x is 632. And that means that x is 158. So we've got the calculation, that's three of the marks. Now, when you then get to the actual justification, higher reactivity of fluorine is a weak FF bond. The FF bond we have calculated is 158. That's much lower than the CH bond and therefore more easily broken. That takes us to the end of this question. Thank you for listening.